whether it's for the facial treatment that we both had or whether, well, really for my ears. That was probably the most painful part. That was enough that, for me to make the journey all the way here. And it seems as safe as any place in America. I'm Terry Ledger. I'm from Park City, Utah in America. I found the clinic online looking up, trying to research information on something they can do for my tinnitus. My ears ring all the time. And this was the only clinic that I could find in the world that would do that. I've seen several doctors for the tinnitus and there's really no cure that they know of, no solutions. I've tried multiple medications, multiple um, products you can buy on the internet, but none of them had any effect whatsoever. Every doctor had the same uh, response was, it's in about 30% of Americans, that we don't know how to fix it or how to stop it. There's nothing you can do. I was on a flight uh, in, the, in America with a doctor that had treated a MMA fighter uh, for a, a broken a broken bone in his hand with stem cells and he was re, he was able to recover in three weeks and get back in the ring to fight again and that was seven or eight years ago so I've been thinking about stem cells and looking into stem cells for a long time trying to find just a solution for longevity as well as for the, my tinnitus really I've this is uh, Swiss Medica is the only clinic that talks about stem cells and tinnitus. I haven't found anybody else to, to talk about it or any other clinics that I, that I could find online that were able to do anything for it. That was probably the most painful part was they uh, took bone marrow from my left hip. Um, it, it wasn't horribly painful. It was just I, I wasn't expecting it to be kind of the sharp pain once. But after they did it, it was it was fine, and the, the it's it feels normal now. And that was five days ago. It feels totally normal now, like nothing happened. Everything was fine. I had I had really no no negative reaction to anything that was done. You know, sticking needles in me was not great, <laughs> but everything else was was totally painless. Um, I didn't have any bad uh, effects during the infusions of the stem cells or the vitamins or anything. I sat there reading a book on my iPad. I'm really just hoping to turn the volume down. I don't ex I don't necessarily think it's going to go away 100%. It'd be great if it did, but I think more likely just to make the, the volume seems to be getting louder in the ringing, and I'm trying to either stop it where it is or, or reduce the volume. I wasn't expecting results on day one. I expected it to take probably more like one month to four months. I was coming mostly to support him. Um, I didn't plan on having anything, but I figured while I was here, I would do some anti-aging. I have some aches and pains, so I figured why not address those since I'm here anyways. So um, I came mostly for the anti-aging, but I ended up getting treated. I mean, I, I came mostly for an anti-aging facial, but I ended up getting treated for some aches that I have in my shoulder, hip, and knee. And um, I'm feeling better already. Um, I've noticed a bit of a change. I'm hoping to see even more of a change. I had um, topical treatments done on my shoulder and my knee, um, so I'm really hoping to see results from that. I'm very hopeful um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you know, the results from the facial as well. The changes I've noticed is that I don't have as much pain in my joints that I had that were treated so, mm -hmm. and more range of motion. I'm anxious to keep an eye on myself for the results and see what it's going to be like in the next month, two months, three months, four months, um, whether it's for the facial treatment that we both had or whether, well, really for my ears. Right? That's the primary reason we came. But also I'm excited to see how she does with her shoulder and her hip and her knee because those have been three uh, challenging issues for Debbie. The success rate at the clinic is a little better than 50% to have some type of an effect and that was enough that for me to make the journey all the way here. Uh, it's a 16 or 17 hour trip to get here. I had no apprehension at all, and Debbie and I were um, on a short vacation before we came, and we talked to a bartender who grew up here in Belgrade, and she made, us very, she made me very nervous about coming to Serbia in particular, not, not about stem cells, just about the country itself. Uh, which I, I find and we find that was completely unfounded. There, there's nothing to be nervous. There, I'm, I'm not nervous at all being here. We've been out to dinner at different restaurants and been out in, t in the city and it seems as safe as any place in America. Last night we went to dinner and, at the waterfront and it was beautiful. It was, it was very much, very much like being in America. Everybody's been really nice. A lot, most people 
that we found speak English, which has been really nice. I wasn't sure that a lot of people would speak English, so that was really great. Yeah, the, the internet implies that uh, very few people speak English, and I found it the opposite. I find that most everybody does. I think last night we went into a restaurant in the waterfront, and it was funny, the waiter looked at us and said, hello, how are you? Instead of speaking in, in Serbian, uh, because we obviously don't look Serbian. <laughs> so it was, it, was, it was really nice. It was, again, different than we expected. We, I expected it to be much harder to communicate here than it was. I mean, just really, really nice, very, uh, they did a great job explaining what they were going to do. Uh, it was a little more painful at times than I anticipated, um, but the, the staff has been great, the doctors, the nurses, um, just everything's been wonderful.